Hey guys, Clawwolf here, and I was just getting ready to get geared up. I have this nice shop I built. Uh, it's pretty nice, it's really simple, but it's pretty cool. It just has these buttons, nothing too particular. We got lava, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to get the lava, get a couple of these diamonds here really quickly. We got a golden carrot. That, that's food. That's really good for your regen. Um, actually, I might want to get a couple more diamonds. There we go. Uh, let's grab a, dot, a bow. Okay, okay. And we have a sword and some chest plates, so we got some armor. Let's do that and get a couple more diamonds. Um, and then we have this potion, the regen pot. Um, and I should probably grab this water bucket while I'm at it. Because, you know, water buckets and lava, that way you don't burn yourself. Um, and uh, what's this last thing? I don't remember adding it. Pet zombie. Let's go see what this is. Let's put our items up here and let's go check out the pet zombie. Oh, what's this? Okay, so right-click claim until hearts, then right-click done. So here's my claim. I'm just going to, I can't move my head, but let's right-click claim until I see hearts. Okay, so I'm right-clicking. Oh, there's the hearts, and then I should right-click done. Oh, and here's my zombie. Okay, so here's my zombie, and I think we're ready to go fight some things now. Um, he doesn't seem to be attacking me at all. He seems pretty nice. Oh. There he is. Okay, let's go. Let's go, zombie. You're supposed to be my pet, right? Zombie? Oh, hello. How you doing, zombie? Okay, he's coming with me. We're going to go and explore the world. Um, but first, how do I get out of this room? Okay, guys. So that was just kind of a goofy intro to this video. And today we're going to be going over how to make pets that uh, don't require any commands to run. Now, you can see a bunch of commands around me, but I'll explain why those are there later, but they really take no commands to run, just one command that you type in, and boom, you got yourself a pet. Um, now, the only thing that is kind of clunky, as you saw, is you have to tame the pet in a strange way, and we'll get into that later. This was brought up by Zachary Silvers a while back, and he said it didn't work, so I just took his word for it, but I tried it, and it did work. Um, so I thought might as well bring it, show it to you guys. So if I click this button, it's going to summon a zombie, but this is not actually a zombie. If we go into game mode 3, there is a wolf on top of a zombie, and since the wolf is on top of the zombie, the wolf is actually taking the dominant AI. The wolf is controlling what the zombie does, so the zombie is basically doing nothing. And the command for it will be in the description and all you have to do if you want to change what kind of entity it is you just go to zombie and you can change it to like spider and then I would suggest changing these tags which I added the tags just so that you'll be able to mess with it later I'll show you what I mean but you can change it to spider creeper uh, whatever you want now the animals won't actually attack correctly they'll attack just like a dog as you'll see here um, but first let's tame it so all you need to tame it is just like a dog you need to use a bone above the head just above the head and when you see the hearts that means you've tamed it once you've tamed it I can go it, it acts just like a regular wolf so I can go all the way over here and he should teleport to me eventually once I go far enough away and I probably have to go into game mode too hello oh let's go into game mode 3 and just make sure yeah okay whatever okay so we'll let him out of the cage oh come on okay Okay, so here he is, he's just coming after me, and he's my pet dog, and sometimes they'll act a little weird, I don't know why, um, but I'm pretty sure this works in most game versions, maybe 1.12, it mainly works. But as you can see, it's kind of it's kind of doing some weird things, it's walking slowly towards the villager that's over there, like it should for a, um, a zombie's AI, but at the same time it is walking over towards me and turning its head just like a wolf would. Um, so for the most part it works really well, and it has no commands so there wouldn't be any bugs the good thing about this is that there's no bugs in terms of like an another option is to tame a wolf and then teleport a mob to the wolf but if you're on a multiplayer server you can't do that because the um what will happen is the two animals if you have two pets and the two wolves get too close together it could end up teleporting um sticking together and stuff like that and there's no really easy way to fix that uh, except I guess constantly respawning the mob, but it would take a lot of commands, especially to be running at, say, 100 pets at once. So this is a lot easier. Two entities per pet. Really simple, really nice, um, pretty clean, works really well. Now, if you want them to teleport, if you want to teleport this, like if you're teleporting the player and you want to teleport their pets as well, um, what I suggest you do is whenever you're teleporting the player somewhere, whether it's a button or something, you also teleport the pet. So I would give the bottom pet an additional tag. This is for the bottom pet. I would give an additional tag of pet or something like that, right? 
and then you do tp at e tag equals pet to wherever you want them to go. Um, or you can execute at the player and teleport nearby pets there. Now, the reason why this, uh, you need to teleport only the bottom. That's that's why I tell you to put it on the bottom, because if you teleport the top, it'll come off and you won't have the pet anymore. So if I teleport zombie dog one, which is the top, uh, the bottom, it will still work like a dog. And if I go into game mode three, it works correctly. But if you teleport both of them, it, they'll come apart. And if you teleport the top one, it'll come apart. So I'll teleport the top one to me. And as you can see, only the top one is there. In fact, there's actually a lot of dogs there. Um, and now the zombie acts like a normal zombie. So let's kill at e type equals zombie and type equals wolf. I'm trying to make this pretty quick because it's not very complicated, but I want to make sure you guys understand. Um, yeah, so that's how you do that. And you can just change the entity, change, mess with the entity data, but it's more of a concept that you put the wolf on top. Now, another thing you're going to need is you're going to need a team called pet, and the pet team has to have friendly uh, friendly invisibles false, so you don't see friends, friendly enemies that are invis friendly entities that are invisible. Basically, if you're on the pet team and the wolf is on the pet team, then you won't be able to see the wolf because if they're not on the pet team, then when you tame it, you'll see. If if you're not on the same team and this isn't set up with see friendly invisibles false, you'll see the wolf in kind of a invisibility. So let's do scoreboard teams remove pet. And if I click it and I tame the wolf, this is what you'll see. So if you're doing this on a server and there's a team that most players are a part of, if you're doing like a, check this out, uh, scoreboard teams list, scoreboard, okay, well, okay, so if you have like a team, it's probably just glitching because I'm on the team, scoreboard teams leave, um, but normally when you tame a wolf, you'll be able to see it if it has invisibility. Uh, but right now it's it's not so it could just be a glitch a graphical glitch for me but earlier i was having it so i suggest just um instead of maybe having a pet team if you have a general team on a server like players then just make all pets join the player team as well and turn see friendly invisibles off or something like that you can work around it of course now i've got it to work so you don't see the wolf but uh, if you do have the problem of seeing the wolf when you test this command then you just have to do something with teams to make it invisible um, so I'll just have this command in the description. Then this other thing I have here, which is kind of big and complicated, this is for actually taming the wolf. Um, because if you're on a server or somewhere on a game, people, it, it's kind of clunky to tell players, oh, you have to right click with a bone above the zombie to tame it. Um, so what I would suggest you do is set up something like this, where you would have a room that players go to, and when it's full, you can't, other people can't get there. But I didn't do that complicated of commands. All this is doing is it's giving me a tag and summoning the zombie inside that room. Okay, so this is just giving me a tag. And if I have the tag, it's going to spam this item in my inventory to be claim. This item in my inventory to be done. It's going to spam this in the uh, action bar. And it's going to spam teleport me to look right at that dot, which is where the zombie would be. Now, the problem earlier, you might have noticed, I switched into game mode 1 when I claimed it and switched back into game mode 2. I'm too far away to reach it at this point because I didn't test it in game mode 2. Uh, but you would just move the player a little closer so they can reach it. But in game mode 1, you have farther reach. So you right-click here, and when they see the hearts, boom. Now, the reason why I say done is because you can't find a tamed wolf. Like, you can't test for a tamed wolf. Um, but you can test for a change in the wolf's color. So the wolf's default color is black, which is 0. So this, right-clicking a wolf with this die, will set the collar color to be 1. So it checks if there is a dog with a collar color of one and when there is a dog with a collar color of one it tags it with owned which means that it's owned by the player like it gives it a tag and then it teleports us all out and removes my tag of get pet so it stops teleporting me so pretty simple not the second thing i explained wasn't super simple but the the concept is simple you just spawn a zombie put a put a wolf on top of a any entity and you could control it the only thing that is hard to work around I'll say this again, is to get players to tame it. Um, I guess you could just tell them, oh, here's your bones, here's your here's your bones, and tame it, and give them like a spawn egg that spawns it. Um, but at the same time, it's still going to end up being a little bit weird. 
Uh, but overall, I'm really happy with this and how it works. The guy said it didn't work, but it does right now. So I would try it out if I were you. Um, if you want to create a pet system, I would try using this. I'm not guaranteeing you that it'll work because maybe it's just a glitch that I'm having here. Um, that's all I really wanted to show you guys today. Not too complicated, just a little concept that's pretty cool. Um, I expect some more videos soon that are tutorials and stuff like that as I work on Quantum Labs 2. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.